Hi, my name is Janet Smith. I'm an online tutor. And today I'm showing you a site where you can make and keep games that you can use with your students when you're tutoring online. This is the Miro.com site, which is an online whiteboard collaboration site. So it really is not a game site. But a lot of tutors have discovered it as a place where they can actually make some need games to play with their students. Um, as long as you have three or less boards, I believe, you can have a free account. And each board has a lot of room on it, so um, that is all I need personally for the amount that I would use it. Um, but you can explore getting a paid account if you really use it a lot. But uh, here, I've just opened one of my boards and it's opening up to where I had it last. And the game that is opening up is one that was created by another 2D tutor, Dighty Bray. And this is an onset rhyme game. And basically she used the tools over here to create the game, the shape tool to create the houses and the line tool to create the lines down in the bottom of the house where each of the pictures is going to be put. And then one unique feature about Miro is they have a neat tool called the Icon Finder. And that's where all these cute pictures came from. So if you want to do a game like this where you need good pictures um, so students can practice some phonemic awareness or other similar activities, then you would use this icon finder here. And I put in the word cat, and then you can see there's all these different cute little cats that come up, and you can pick one that you want to use. And it'll get inserted in your game board, and you may have to resize it a little. But then you have that picture. So that's where all of those pictures came from. So in this game that she created, um, you have to find words with the same ending as the word that's in the top of the house. So you have bug here, and then you would go and find a word like there's jug, and move it over to the house, or mop, and stop, and move it over. So that's a really fun game that she created. And there's actually quite a few games on my game board. If I go down here to the bottom, this fits everything to the screen. And you can see there are lots of games. And then all I need to do is enlarge the screen and drag it to where I want to get to a game that I want to do with my students. So this game here is a sorting game that I got from another tutor. And basically, you would put the words where C says K in this column, and the words where C says S over in this column. And the student could read and sort them. OK, here's a Connect Four game that I made, and I would have the student type the word, and then they get to pick a line and connect it. And the first person to make a square and would win. And this was a little bit more elaborate game I made called Build a Face. And the students really like it a lot, and I just used the icon finder to find all these different face parts. And then each time a student um, correctly spells a word, they get to add one more item to their face until they build a face. And if you're playing this sort of like Hangman, then if they don't guess correctly, they're trying to guess a letter. I have this little pail and these little brownie faces that get put in the pail for each mistake. So you want to race and get your face built before the pail gets built. So lots of great things you can do using these tools and um, 
you know, in terms of creating many different types of games, and then they're always stored on your mirror board. One disadvantage to using this is it's not really created for games, so everything's very movable on this. Like these boards, it's very easy to shrink or make them bigger, and the student might accidentally do that. And each piece, if they don't grab it the right way, they might accidentally resize any of these little things that are created when they're trying to move them. So that can be frustrating for some students. However, even with that, and with a little practice, they usually get pretty comfortable with it. But even with that, it is uh, has some unique features, and it is a really good option for some online games.